Why don't I mess with Greek and Hebrew in my preaching? Very simple, because Greek and Hebrew lead to doubt. It leads to confusion. It does not have a final authority to it. And uh, because there are a lot of different Greek and Hebrew manuscripts, um, there are over 40 different Greek texts out there and multiple editions of each of those texts. Uh, the Hebrew, um, you have different texts there as well and different, different uh, places where the Hebrew comes from. And so you're constantly fighting over different readings. Well, this could be better translated this way and that could be better translated that way. Um, many years ago when I started to study the Bible version issue, the manuscript evidence and everything else, I wanted to be able to serve the Lord with my life. And I knew that going around with Greek and Hebrew readings and all that stuff would just lead me to confusion. And um, I wanted an English Bible that had been used and proven for centuries to have power. And that's why I became a King James Bible believer. Not King James only, but King James Bible believer. I believe that the King James Bible is divinely, supernaturally inspired of God. And I've sought to prove that down through the years by preaching it without questioning it. And uh, if you want to watch my videos, you'll see that that's my standard. You will never hear me correct it. You'll never hear me say a better translation would be. And I think that's the right standard to take as a Christian, to have an authority that you can show to people. It'd be rather hypocritical for me to say, well, I'll go out onto the street and I'll witness to the lost world with a translation that I don't even believe is God's perfect word. And then turn around and say, well, it's Greek and Hebrew. Well, then take the Greek and Hebrew out and witness to people with that. But you see, it doesn't work. That's why they have to have a translation that they don't believe is inspired, which is rather strange. <laughs> um, so my advice to you, you want to be in ministry, you better find the Bible that God uses, that God blesses. And um, you can watch my videos on that subject here on this channel. And you see why I believe that the King James Bible is God's perfect word. That's going to be it. Thanks for watching.